How to Catch and Release Blue Fish Hi guys welcome to the zoological world today we are going to talk about how to catch and release blue fish. Please if you are enriched by our video so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks. If you've ever seen a bluefish feeding frenzy, the churning water and leaping silver should tell you how strong and aggressive these predators can be. Catch and release safety has two meanings when it comes to these fish. Handle the fish carefully to minimize harm to the fish, and to keep your own hands safe from its powerful bite. Attach a steel leader to your line. Bluefish teeth can sever nylon fishing line. Attach a steel wire leader to the end of the line to protect it. Wear gloves. Work gloves protect your hands from bluefish teeth and make it easier to handle the wire leader and fishing line without cutting yourself. Kevlar or other cut-resistant material is best, but any gloves are better than nothing. Choose your lure or bait. Bluefish are aggressive feeders willing to charge at just about any splashing surface lure. Big, teardrop-shaped lures work well in choppy water, but they must be reeled back immediately to keep them on the surface. Rely on pencil poppers instead in calm water, working them slowly across the surface. 2. You can use squid, mullet, mackerel, or other saltwater fish as bait instead, especially if you do not see bluefish breaking the surface. When practicing catch and release, use only one hook at a time. Multiple hooks or multi-pronged hooks can be very difficult to extract without injuring the fish. Bluefish are messy eaters that can rip apart the bait while missing the hook. Pierce the hook through the length of the bait, not just the head or tip. Handle the fish quickly and carefully. Fighting the hook can cause extreme exhaustion, and even a short time out of the water raises the fish's mortality rate. Bring the bluefish next to the boat as fast as possible. If you can, leave it in the water while you remove the hook. If you must lift it out of the water, wet your gloves, then lift the fish out with both hands supporting the head and base of the tail. If you want a photograph, have someone take one while you're removing the hook. The fish may not be able to afford extra posing time. Never touch the gills of a fish during catch and release. Dry hands or knotted nets rub off a layer of protective slime, leaving the fish vulnerable to infection. Remove the hook with pliers or special tools. To avoid bites, always use long-handled hemostats, needle nose pliers, or de-hooking tools instead, withdrawing the hook gently but quickly. The fish is much more likely to die if you rip out the hook, or if you take too long handling it out of the water. If the hook is caught deep inside the fish, removing it is likely to injure internal organs. Just cut the line as close to the hook as possible, and leave it embedded in the fish. The mortality rate is still very high in these cases. Avoid feeding line to the fish after it bites, which can lead to this situation. Circle hooks are easy to remove and less likely to snag deep in the fish. Hold the fish underwater until it revives. If you lifted the fish out of the water, lower it back down gently, never throw it. Hold the fish underwater for about 30 seconds until it is ready to swim on its own. If the fish's gills are barely moving, gently push the fish back and forth in the water so water flows over the gills. Release the fish once the gills are pumping vigorously. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please if you are enriched by our video like so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks.